This chapter is titled The Lord in the Heart. How the living entity when he leaves this body and gets liberated how he reaches Lord Hari some of the path he takes is explained here as a yogi he leaves the body when he leaves the body what happens is explained here the mystic passes over the milky way by illuminating shushma shushuna to reach the highest planet brahma loka on the way he goes to vaishnava nara the planet of the beauty of fire where he gets completely cleansed of all contaminations then he goes higher to circle of shushuma to relate with lord hari the personality of god now if you see all this shushumnara vaishwanara shishumara all these things do not make do not correlate with any of the modern cosmology uh, where is this vishumnara vaishwanara where is it in the modern cosmology he is simply based on gross observation of the universe what is this universe it is not only the universe that we observe with our eyes and with our telescopes we have to understand that even today even though science has made so called advancement but with respect to understanding of our own universe the origin of the universe now what is the understanding of space what is the understanding of time none of these things are very clear to even the most advanced scientist modern scientist In last 50 years they have reached a situation where the science the physics they have to conclude that we do not even know the fundamentals what is space we do not know what is time we do not know huh? so our vedas are talking about 14 planetary systems but you don't see in the night sky anywhere 14 planets in system so people say what is this you are talking about this is all some imagination this is all some stories it is not of course nowadays there are there are theories that they believe in multiple universes there are so many universes which we do not see so similarly these 14 planetary systems whatever the vedas are saying whatever our scriptures are saying whatever is described people like vyasa deva they had a higher inner vision not just the size not just this telescope just like they have worked so hard and find out manufacture telescopes huge telescope so much tapasya is there to make a telescope because of that they are able to see far away galaxies in the vedic times great rishis used to engage in a different type of tapasya the tapasya of their mind and they could sharpen their vision not this vision inner vision by which they could see all these truths these 14 planetary systems every other page of bhagavata every other page of puranas very freely talk about 14 planetary systems so is it all true is it all simply imagination of a poet vyasadeva
So it is all true. We have to accept this higher descending process of truth. So now it is said that the yogi's destination is Hari. He is trying to reach the Lord, reach Vaikuntha. They travel at the speed of mind. That means they leave this body behind, but their mind goes with them. The speed of mind, they they can reach any planet, they can reach any destination. And it is said here that he crosses before he reaches Hari's planet. He has to cross over the Vaishnavanara, the fiery planet, to get completely purified. Now note that this is all talking about the path of a yogi. Yogi also has to get completely purified of his material consciousness by going through this fiery planet. Now all these benefits that a yogi has, gets by doing so much tapasya, so much meditation, all that is available to you. Why? Without doing all those things. Without doing all those things. This is revealed in scriptures. Now how can you cut short all these procedures? It is because of the power of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Rama. Anyone who regularly worships this Hare Krishna Mahamantra by chanting and hearing this Mahamantra will purify his consciousness even when this when in this body purifying one's consciousness means Purifying our entire attitude towards life. When you get a human form of body, you can separate your real I from this body. We'll explain what that real is, what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says. Because simply you say that, okay, I am not the body. Then please tell me what I am. That is the next question. Is it not? There is an answer for that. What I am? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Jivere Surupoe, Krishna Ranitya Das. We are eternal servants of Krishna. We are persons. We are Vikti. This I is a Vikti. Krishna is a supreme Vikti, supreme living entity. And we all have forgotten our connection with Krishna. Krishna is not new to us. Our God is not new to us. We are all part and parcel of God. God is all pure. God is infinite Sat, infinite Chitta, infinite Ananda. So in the human form of life, we have to practice my eternal role. What is my eternal role as a servant of Krishna? That means, engage in Bhakti Seva of the Lord. A person who is awakened, he can still be in the drama. Just like Prabhupada was in this world. He was in the drama but never in Maya. Correct? If he is not in the drama, me and you would not have seen him. Because he this is a drama, no? I am this body is a drama. This is a huge stage. This whole material world is a huge stage. Where each of us are thinking I am this body and playing our role. 
So pure devotees like Prabhupada, they also come and play in the drama. And tell, wake up, yeah, you are not this drama character. Wake up, I will give you the method how to wake up. Come to me, I will take you to the eternal Lord. I will take you back to God and where you don't have to any more birth, death, old age, disease is not there. Eternal life, Sat life, Chit life, a knowledge without, a, a life without ignorance. Ananda, life of bliss, of pure love of Krishna. When you love Krishna, you love everyone as part of Krishna. I will take you to the world where everywhere and every everybody is only thinking of Krishna, how to please Krishna. Everybody has a beautiful relationship with Krishna. 24 hours. That is Vaikuntha Loka. There is no anxiety. Vaikuntha means no anxiety. There is no anxiety of existence. What I should eat, when I should eat, where, where to earn money to eat. All those things are not there. These are all artificial situations. That is why nobody likes to work for money. Suppose you give free money, you say, I will not work. <laughs> see our surupa, see our nature. So those who are very fond of laziness, first you should try to go back to God. <laughs> And for that, don't be lazy. Go on, Kirtanya Sada Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Ram, Hare Ram. If you're lazy for that also, then you go into hell. Tamo Buddha. So, such a complicated process for a yogi and all to cross this material universe, cross everything, cross all the seven the layers of material covering and then reach Vaikuntha. We don't even think about all these things. We simply follow Prabhupada's instruction, chant 16 rounds. And then you don't have to go to Vaikuntha, you will be taken to Vaikuntha. <laughs> Rendra Chinam Bhagavatam Kinya, Kagat Purushila 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 Purushila